Hello? Ah, you're still awake, I see. There's something in the air tonight, isn't there? A heaviness that clings like the summer heat, thick and unrelenting. Nights like these, uh, I find myself yearning for the cool breath of autumn, the way the wind whispers through the trees, carrying with it the scent of earth and fallen leaves. It's a time of change, of endings and beginnings. But before the leaves turn and the world cools, there's still the final chapter in our story left to tell. The ghost in the opera house. Its final chapter is almost ready to be unveiled. Some will return to those darkened corridors, to the echoes of forgotten voices, and the secrets they keep. Where else, of course, but to return to Zaria Hollow, where the shadows hold their own secrets. But before that moment arrives, I invite you to linger a little longer. Recall the steps we've taken, the shadows we've chased. There's a certain beauty in reflection, don't you think? A way to prepare for what lies ahead. Let the memories of our journey guide you. They are as much a part of the tale as the words themselves. And when the time comes, we'll meet again in the heart of the storm, where all truths are laid bare. Until then, my friend, rest. Let the night carry you into a gentle slumber, though be warned. The shadows of Witchcrest Peak have a way of lingering, even in dreams. Sleep well, if you can, for the night is long, and our journey longest.
iTunes, we're your late night guys. San Francisco secrets in every stride. KSFJ stay sharp, stay sly. Where the city's pulse meets the midnight sky. KSFJ stay sharp, stay sly. Where the city's pulse meets the midnight sky. Good evening, folks. Welcome back to KSFJ 103.5, San Francisco's own late night soundtrack. I'm Jack the Night Owl Richards here to keep you company as we journey through the night. You know, these days everyone's glued to their screens, watching videos of people exploring haunted houses, abandoned towns, and all sorts of eerie places. It seems like there's no end to the fascination with the supernatural, but you don't have to go online to find a good ghost story, especially not here in California. Our state's got its fair share of haunted spots, from the old missions to gold rush era ghost towns, and then there are the places you won't find on any tourist map. The ones tucked away in the hills and forests, far from the highways and city lights that you have to find by word of mouth. One of those places is a little town called Shadowbrook, nestled in the shadow of Witchcrest Peak. Witchcrest Peak, now that's a name that sounds like it's straight out of a ghost story, doesn't it? But here's the thing, that's its real name. They say the mountain got its name because it resembles the hunched shoulders and twisted features of a witch, and those who once lived in her shadow would tell stories about the lightning and thunderstorms that often rolled across her summit. Whenever the sky lit up with a crack of lightning, you'd hear someone say the old witch is cackling tonight. It's the kind of place where the land itself seems alive, where every gust of wind and flash of lightning tells a tale. Now Shadowbrook, the town at its base, is a place where the past hasn't quite let go, where the stories linger in the air like the mist rolling in off the bay. Tonight, I've got something special for you folks. A few weeks ago, up in Mill Valley, Tommy Ray Harlan, a man with a voice that can make you believe in ghosts, performed a ballad about Shadowbrook. It's a song that captures the essence of those forgotten places where every stone and tree seems to have a story to tell. So wherever you're listening from, whether it's the bustling streets of San Francisco or a quiet cabin somewhere up north, sit back and let Tommy Ray take you on a journey into the heart of California's haunted history. Spirits ebb and flow 
from Irish tales to haunted halls, the story still remains in every corner of this town. Echoes of joy and pain. Doctor Peabody with his healing hands, but a heart so cold and stern tried to cure. Ailments, though his own soul did burn. His wife fell wheeze with gossip's tongue, spun tales with every breath, stirring strife and feeding flames till she met the path of winds. Adeline Thornway, born with six fingers, but that's not all she. Born, a housekeeper with a fierce resolve She was much, much more Her past was marked by whispered fears But her heart was pure and kind In Hendrickson Hall she found a place Where she could leave the pain behind Each spirit has its duty Tales they left behind From the sun to the steeple Where the preacher saved his kind In Shadow Brook their memories linger Etched in every stone The past is never truly gone In the place they call their own Fritz, the Austrian miner, with a heart both kind and tough, shared his tales and kept the faith. When times were dark and rough, and widow Parker, strong and true, with a heart that cared for all, supported those who lost their love. In which Christ's mighty throng Esme Levine, the singer lost From Montreal she come Her voice still haunts the mountain winds Where shadows dare to hum And on Tilly from Appalachia's hills With a warmth that cared for all Supported those who lost their loves In which Christ's mighty throng If you ever find yourself Near which crest towering high Listen for the voices of the town That echo in the night The town may lie in ruins But the soul still linger near In the heart of Shadow Brook where the past remains so clear And that was Tommy Ray Harmon singing straight from the heart of that shadow Boy, A place where the echoes of the past still whisper through the trees you know, it's easy to get caught up in the digital world, but there's something about these old forgotten places that you can't quite capture on a screen. Sometimes you've just got to go there, feel the wind on your face, hear the stories in the silence. You're listening to KSFJ 103.5, San Francisco's Late Night Voice. There's more to come, but for now, let those memories linger just a little longer.